You wanna come say hi, JJ? Mm -hmm. Come here, you come right here. He's made the camera. an appearance in Germany in my video. Hi. <laughs> Hey guys, Bubba Texas here uh, with Sasquatch. Hi. Uh, this is his official introduction to YouTube. Uh, he is going to do the install of the. What do call it? Motion Infinity. Yeah, Motion Infinity by Euclear on his. Remember, get Icon. Air Flight. Air Flight Battle Scar 2. This is the right on the back. <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> I remember if it was a one or two. It's a yep. two. Alrighty. So the first thing I'm actually going to do is take off all the extra padding I don't need right now. And the lovely chin cup. Oh, okay. uh, that. Oh, yes. Huh? The visor, yes. That would help. Get those fingerprints off your visor. <laughs> hey, don't judge me. I need to, I need to take a... Uh, Invisible glass to it. Do do do. What I really liked about this one, I didn't find out till after I got it, but when I started looking at getting a Bluetooth headset, is these actually have nice little cups on the inside of either ear for the speakers. And it comes with a pretty decent amount of stuff. Oh yeah, and a sticker. Uh, stickers. Mm -hmm. Stickers. Stickers. Mm -hmm. uh, it comes with spacers. Don't need those. Charge cable. I'll need that later. Block. Don't need that. Need those. Need those. Don't need that. Don't need that. I'm gonna set those aside. <laughs> Clean those up later. Dude, why do you think I tossed everything where I knew it was at? So much plastic. Do to do. Make sure let me finish by. I'm gonna take the full liner out. Yep. Just make it easier to wire everything. Today's video is brought to you by Southern Star Conspiracy Theory Beer. Nice. Okay. IPA. <laughs> People on your channel are probably gonna think I'm really weird. We all do. I mean. Shit, I didn't mean to drop that like that. Pick that up. Can actually keep my trash contained. Get that kind of centered in there. Boom. So you gotta talk through what you're doing. So I'm pretty much just taking these little hook what is it? Velcro patches pretty much, but there's a technical name for them. And just putting them on the inside cups in there. So that way when it actually comes to putting in the speakers and the mics and everything, they'll just Velcro right on and be good. Hopefully. Hopefully. Don't trust me, I'm not a professional. I barely know what I'm doing. He's over here judging me, I know it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Get that in there. Boom. There's this little guy right here, which, yeah, he'll, he'll come in handy later. Do -do -do. Get that plastic out of the way. Damn you. Making me look stupid on my first time on camera. All by yourself? <laughs> All by myself. Alrighty. This one is interesting because instead of being like a little headphone jack or anything, it actually hooks up to the module with USB-C. So literally where you plug this in is where you're charging it from. And get this on the right side of the helmet. Left. The actual module looks like a little gaming mouse. I think you get oriented like... Make sure you uh, check them to see left and right. I did left. All right. I did it backwards. And also, left. left is the shorter one since it goes on the left side of the helmet. All right. Because it's actually... Boom. That goes in there like that. Can you actually stuck it on there? Come on, buddy. Quit making me look stupid. Ooh, that's strong Velcro. Mm -hmm. It's that good 3M Velcro. I don't think mine came with 3M. Boom. You pretty much just, boom, that's going to hang out there. That's going to... Oh, that's the Velcro for your mic. Yep. 
it comes with multiple different ones. I'll tuck that right there for a second. This is going to go up and over the top to right there. Boom, since I got all that in, I'm going to hook the, that stuff like that, do that, then put the top piece back in so it actually holds the wire down like it should. Let me just figure out where it snaps at. Oh, it only snaps in the back. Boom. Important to make sure you don't lose any of this stuff, I guess. And that just. Damn it, microphone. Quit making me look stupid. Should have velcroed him. Should have velcroed him already. Well, I'm going to velcro him after I put in this top piece back in. Because the top piece is going to hold stuff where it should go. It's also important to kind of remember how these things come out. Yes. So you don't end up looking like I'm looking right now. But that's fine. We'll get the back snapped in, which is just two easy white snaps in the back. If they don't want to be difficult. Okay. Is it the angle? I'm doing it in. There we go. Oh, there we go. And then this top piece. Uh, Oh, and that's how it goes in there. Cool, it slides in like that, and it also lets you know which one's the top one. And that should go like, mm. okay. Don't be difficult. That one goes there. That one is there. That one is there. Cool. Top is back in with everything exposed how it needs to be. So the one thing it says about these microphones, because it's, they call them their boomless microphones, and it's literally just a wire with a little microphone like that, and there's actually two of them, one for either side. And I was going to put them right up underneath here, but what it actually said is you don't want it near the air vent, and for the air flight you had this nice big old chunky one up there. So I'm actually going to put it a little bit under the cheek pads, which is actually one of the, the way it actually tells you to install it. So I'll probably do it about here. I think that'll work. Yeah. And then again, just another more sticky stuff. See how well this 3M stuff works out and Maybe just super glue the outside module on at some point. JB Weld. That's my favorite. JB Weld? JB Weld. Skirt. Gorilla glue. They can never come off. Yep. Hey, gotta make sure you retain all your equipment. Mm hmm And then right here. It's about even. And then what we'll do is I'll put this on, go outside and give you a call and see how it works. I actually probably should have taken off the Velcro before I stuck it in. But that, oh yeah, that's some grippy stuff. There we go. And then the top of the Velcro, you can see that actually has a hole cut out right here to actually insert it into. Like so. And then that one's in there. And do that so it's not hooked around that like that and then do the same thing with this one on the other side do, do, do. and then just bam back in there again and then on to the velcro boom that is a lot of extra wire sitting right there holy shit <laughs> Yeah, so there's a lot, lot of wire length that gives you to work with, so for wherever you want to place it. to do to do. And now that's where I decide if I want to put this here. Actually, let's go ahead and throw these back in. Yeah. And then we'll do this the easy way. I'll put the helmet on, reach my hand up and see where it feels best. And then we can remove these side of the padding again. Retuck the wires. To tuck the wire once I actually have it placed where I want it. Okay, tuck you down and there. 
you or sometimes your equipment just really doesn't want things to go your way. Oh, the mic came out. The mic came out while I was trying to put it in. Go to your home ball. Okay, you're good. I'll check you on that side. That is the wrong side. No, that was the right side. Yeah, I was putting it on the wrong side. Oh. Because these two white snaps here have to line up with the two right here, right here. But I also have to tuck a chin strap back through. And we'll snap those on first, because that's the easier way to do it. There's one. So I can actually rotate it a little bit. See, that's two. Then it just velcros back down, and those pop in right there. That's so much easier than my helmet. <laughs> yeah, but mine also doesn't have the emergency release. Yeah. So you win some and you lose some. But at that point in time, I'll just be happy if the helmet's working properly. And then, actually, I really only need the left side on right. Oh, no, I need both sides on because I'm putting the helmet on. This has to be so boring for you right now. You're just like, I'm watching this guy be an idiot. Like I said, I'd rather be behind the camera. <laughs> Boom. And then. Guy's head. Oh god. It took your ears. Huh? <laughs> it's folded my ears over. <laughs> yeah. So, and why are you on? I did not turn you on, but fine, we'll deal with that later. <laughs> do, do, do. Other way? Nope. No way. Yep. There we go. So right about there would probably be good. Okay. Because I don't really see the need to have it all the way up here. Yeah. So is that right in front of the icon symbol? The icon is right here. Okay. We got about inch and a half, two inches. Okay, move it so up. Right about there. Oh, that's going to come off anyways. That's weird. Yeah. Clean with alcohol. So it's right about there. <laughs> Boom. Alcohol swab time. Let that dry real quick and I'll actually show you. It actually comes with three different ways to mount it while that dries. You have what they call their new one, which is this lovely plastic piece right here. And you got the Classic, find me somewhere, which is just a small little metal piece. And then you literally have an alligator clamp. Uh, some of the stuff in, I saw when I was watching videos on it and everything, it actually says that this alligator clamp, which comes with the metal hooks and then the clamp itself. That's a binder clip. Or binder clip, whatever. Uh, is actually meant more for temporary use or for people that wear hard hats because they say you can use this with a hard hat because besides the speakers they also sell actual earbuds for people riding cruisers and stuff like that that actually have built-in microphones oh, wow. for like skid lids yeah but and that's nice and dry now so I'm gonna put this back on here so I can angle it and we'll pull that off This one is an interesting one, which uh, I kind of got because of one of the safety features it says it has, which is it, ha it supposedly has a built-in accelerometer that can detect when you crash. 
And when you do, through a phone app, if you have it open, it will send an email or a text message to three of your contacts that you set up as your emergency contact with coordinates where you crash if you don't respond within a certain amount of time of it asking if you're okay. Uh, nice to have. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the speakers, um, uh, a lot of stuff that I've seen said if you want something with good sound quality in the speakers and stuff is to go with the Cardo packed up bold because it has the JBL speakers so in it. Those. But uh, we'll, i am got this one, see how these speakers do because this one comes with their upgraded 2.0 speakers that supposedly have good bass and everything like that so I'll give those a test run, see how much I like this thing. Probably gonna drive me crazy at first because I can feel those speakers sitting right on my ears in this helmet. Yeah. So I need to find out how to not fold my ears over when I'm putting on my helmet. But rather than that, I'm just gonna let that sit for a while and cure, and then I'll put everything on. And was gonna try to go riding this weekend, but it's supposed to rain. A lot of rain. <laughs> a lot of rain. Weird thing to come from San Antonio. Oh yeah, <laughs> gotta love Texas and their four seasons in one day. Yep. But you got anything else, Will? Nope. Yeah, that's about it. Stay frosty. Check out Sasquatch here, uh, S A T X Sasquatch on Instagram. He will be using this channel, Bubba Texas, to post his videos. Hope for more writing yeah. soon. Hopefully. Go hit River Road. Yeah. He hasn't done River Road yet, so. It'd be fun. <laughs> we get to do it with Dad's new bike. Dude, we are so socially awkward with we this. Are. It's great. That's why I love doing this. Alright, like, subscribe. Yeah, you know the stuff. <laughs>